Hello humans, Batsy here with another create video from the SMP. I have been teasing for a few episodes now that I want to build a recycling center, and we finally got everything ready to make it work. I have decided to take this land over here to build it. It's fairly big, so I imagine I won't be having problems with space. I will be probably going down this line, and I guess leaving this part mostly empty. That should give enough space for some machines. Now, how is this going to work I hear you asking. Well, if we take a look at the recipes really quickly, for the acacia planks for example. Chipped is adding all those variants into the game, which is cool, they are great, but they clutter the storage a lot. Damn Damn helped creating a whole deal of new recipes to automate all of those crafts with create, instead of having to do them manually. That means it can be automated if you happen to use one of those variants a lot, but it also means that you can automate it to go back to the original block, in this case being the acacia planks. Instead of having 5 slots used with various acacia variants, we could have a single slot with only the base block. I also added a recycling mod into the game, which adds even more recipes for several other items from vanilla and create. If we take a look at the crushing recipes. See, there are a bunch of new recipes that essentially recycle all of those items into some of its raw materials or components. The rates of them aren't great, most of the time you lose by a lot, but this is mostly meant for things you would throw away anyway, and it should also help reduce the amount of random stuff in the storage. Like some of those create blocks can be recycled back into andesite alloys. It's not much, but if you aren't using it and are desperate enough, who knows? Another reason why I was thinking of placing it here is because. If we take a peek with free cam really quickly. You can see how the storage system is right there. I thought it would be a shame to not connect them together somehow. At least to have a tunnel up until this wall or something, so I can grab the items and dump them into the system if I want to. That is basically the concept of the recycling center, it's a series of hundreds of recipes that have been added to turn back everything from chipped into its original form. As well as crushing down many other blocks and items into some of its raw materials. All for the sake of having fewer variations of items, and more base resources. Alright, let's get into building some stuff, shall we? First things first, I think I want the recycling portion to be on the left side. I might just fill the rest with other machines or something. Yeah, I think that corner will do better. Anyway, I have brought a bunch of stuff, so let's get to it. Yeah, that should probably do it, two on each side. Then we fill it up with chests, and that is probably enough room. Is that enough room? It looks quite narrow to be honest with you. Ah, I'm sure it will be fine. I will just dig downwards and figure out how to do it vertically instead. I dug down to the level where the storage system is, it should show up at any moment now. There we go, excellent. So now I just need to move items all the way down into here. But first, we gotta process all of those items. Which for the crushing side it basically means connecting a couple of chutes, and then placing the crushing wheels beneath them. I mean, yeah, that's basically all it takes to recycle with the crushers. This might be a whole lot more trivial than I thought it was going to be. I'm thinking in which way I should remove the items from the chests, because there is really not a lot of horizontal space in here. My idea is to dig in the wall, and just use the tip of the belt. Then I just need a chute for it. Yeah, that looks alright, it just about does it. And because there is nowhere else to go, I'm just going to place this one backwards to be honest with you. This should probably work I reckon. The cogwheels will surely not work because we need the last belt to go backwards, but I'm gonna leave that as a placeholder for now, we'll figure out how to connect them later on. For now, let's bring the items down into the storage system. Which should be as easy as bringing the crusher chute down in a curve. Moving the other belts down to one blocked beside the chute. And some extra chutes so it reaches the belt. 
Now we just extend those belts all the way to the storage system. And connect a couple of chests to store the items. Yeah, that should work fine. I'm not gonna lie, this is a whole lot easier than I was expecting it to be, just need to connect this thing somewhere, and we can start testing it out. Alright, I think this should be all, then just need to connect the last two cogwheels, and everything looks to be going in the right direction. Yeah, awesome. Now for the annoying part, setting up all of those filters. My main idea is honestly to just fill up a bunch of normal filters with all the base blocks, and combine them all inside another filter later on. It's going to be tedious and take a little while, but it feels like the most simple way to go about it. While making all the filters I realized that for the trapdoor and doors, we need to process them twice. One to convert them to the base trapdoor, and another to convert the trapdoor back into a wood plank. So let's place down a new mechanical saw. Which will also go down with its items as the rest. And have it connected to another mechanical saw for the final step. The only thing left is to connect it to the same belt as before. And that section is also done. Awesome, it seems to be spinning in the right direction. I have prepared this filter for it, which contains all the base doors and trap doors. That's for the first one. And then the other with only the wood planks on them, you can see it's just planks. Alright, that's one section done, now for the other though, I have a bajillion of filters here that we need to combine. My idea is to just combine them all inside the same filter, I don't see why this shouldn't work out. One for you, and one for you. Alrighty, let's test this thing out. I have brought with me a bunch of random items that are either from chipped, or with things to be converted into planks. This is for trapdoors are doors, do we have any of them? Yes, I have a trapdoor, let's check that one out. Oh, I see, maybe the backward belt doesn't work after all, I thought it would simply bounce onto it. Well, that's a bummer. Yeah, it was the backward belt, dang it. What about a depot, that will surely work, right? Yeah, see, that one does it. Oh my gods, am I stuck here now, or what? Okay, never mind, geez. So yes, I changed them for depots, and moved the belt one block downwards, now it should be working well. Except that nothing is moving now. Alrighty, now for real it is working. So let's try this again. Maybe with the wood planks this time. Awesome, they reached the bottom as intended. What about the rest of the wooden stuff, let's see if those get converted back to planks. And sure enough, all the planks are here now, perfect. Let's just throw everything else on it, and see how that does it. Oh, that was a lag spike. Not a spike I still have some lag all of a sudden. Alright, you all go in, and everything else is already base materials. Let's maybe throw some of those depots to test the crushers. It seems to be working alright down here. Yeah, see, only base materials so far. The depot is taking a bit to get processed though. Why is this lagging so much now? Everything looks so slow. What's going on? Is this at the speed that it should be working at? That doesn't look alright. This is definitely not looking alright at all, it seems to be causing lag spikes every time it tries to process a recipe. <laughs> I wonder if it's because I added so many filters inside a filter. Maybe it's just struggling to calculate every recipe in there. Well, that's a bummer, I spent an hour making those filters. What about the depots, where did they even go? There is nothing in here. That one was my bad, they were spinning in the wrong direction, not yes, I can see the andesite in here. I mean the rest is working fine, it's just causing a massive amount of lag. I will have to find a different way of going about this. It looks slightly faster when it's just one, but still quite laggy. Alright, well, I'm going to make a building around this thing, and I will be thinking about how to fix this filter while I'm recording the time lapse. I guess I will look into making it work with tags or something instead. Let's cue the time lapse and make something cool with this. In the meantime, one evening after having given the last hint of the egg hunt, 
some players tried their best to find it. But it was starting to get hopeless, even after Batsy gave several more hints through that evening to help them out. At least until they started to go down the right path, and surely enough, not long after, this happened. Several weeks ago. Today we fought the Ender Dragoon, and I'm going to be making a little game with the Eggy. I will be hiding it around my base, and see if anyone can find it. But I'm going to be pretty mean about it, very very mean. What do you think, will there be anyone able to find it here? I might need to give them some hints so they even have a chance. I was going to edit a pretty cool replay, but I guess not, because the bloody replay broke again. Anyway, I will show you around, I think this building ended up looking pretty cool in the end. This is what I came up with. I think it looks amazing honestly. Super super cool. I went for the chimneys on this one because I felt like it was fitting for the recycling theme, even though we not really smelting anything, the town needs to have at least one building with some chimney action. I have also added a few random decorations on the roof so it doesn't look as flat and empty. They do nothing, but it helps filling up the space, without making it too detailed. I particularly love those fans, they are supposed to be for trains, but I think they look even better for buildings to be honest. I'm happy with it. The chimneys are a combination of framed blocks, copycats, and more framed blocks. I think the shape was spot on if I do say so myself. It goes super well with the brick aesthetic I'm going for, without making it look like too much brick. I think they look super cool with the lava particles coming out of them and everything, it's such a nice addition to the center of the town, I'm loving it. You might notice there are more moving parts, this is a random idea I had that turned out amazing. If you remember, I mentioned in the last episode that I wanted to have a crane on this corner. The problem was that the crane would need somewhere to dump all the materials, otherwise, what is the crane for if not for moving materials? I thought maybe I could make it go down this way, and simply have an area here where it's dumping all the materials into, but that didn't felt like a cool idea. Then it came to my mind the idea of having crushers on the roof where we can dump materials into, and pretend that is part of the recycling center. I'm honestly not sure where I took that idea from, maybe I saw this on another game or something, but I think it's such a cool idea. I was already planning on making the crane on a diagonal axis and simply making it dump materials into the roof for storage, but the crushers just made it even better in my opinion. I made this diagonal by building it on a straight axis, then simply using a mechanical bearing to turn it 45 degrees towards the recycling center. Just make sure it's set to only place when anchor destroyed. That will make sure it remains an entity, and it will stay in this diagonal. At least until this mechanical bearing is destroyed and it goes back to being blocks. I used one of those valves to turn it around, you can destroy the valve afterwards and it will retain the angle you set it at. Something else to notice is all of those lamps, you can see how they aren't connected to the crane as an entity. That's because if they become an entity, they stop emitting light. At least those specific lamps anyway. The way I did it is by placing blocks in the locations where those lamps will be attached, and placing the lamps before turning around the crane, so the lamps remain in place for when the crane gets into place. It won't work trying to place them against the crane because it's an entity and it doesn't have a hitbox, not until it becomes blocks again. This one doesn't look the best, but the way I fixed the problem had its limitations. Also, why is there a zombie in here? Everything is decently lit up. Maybe this corner is too dark, but it makes no sense, there are lights everywhere. Even if it looks a bit dark, the lights reach 15 blocks, this is so weird. I have also added a decent amount of lights all over the roof, to make sure it looks well illuminated during the night. While the chimneys have their own light source being the lava in them. But I think it still looks fairly good, it doesn't look out of place to be this bright. Overall I think it all looks pretty amazing, I really love how everything turned out. This crane in particular I think it's quite peculiar. I thought it would be funny to make it look like it's steam-powered, so I added some tanks and whistles at the feet of the crane. 
It doesn't make any sense on how would that work, but I think it looks hilarious. Everything else is a bit squared for a crane, but you know Minecraft, it's pretty hard to do diagonals. During the day I think it also looks super cool, I'm really loving the brick aesthetic. You might be thinking, does it make any sense for the recycling center to process ores, if there is literally an ore processing section over here? The answer is probably no, it doesn't make sense. But small details aside, I think it fits super well, and it looks fantastic. The exterior is pretty basic, all things considered. I have added some fences, and small things to make it fit in place, as well as a ladder to be able to reach the roof. That's about all that I did on the outside really. Oh well, I also used some brackets to make this shaft look better. I like the idea of leaving the shaft on the outside of the building, I think it looks neat. Over to this side, I'm thinking on moving forward the wall a little bit. At least to make it a whole block, and not a half one. That will allow me to put something with immersive paintings, maybe like a billboard or something to do with the recycling center. Maybe I will just add windows at the end, but I think a billboard of sorts could look cooler. At least anything to make it look less flat. The inside is far from done, as you can see. There are still several things missing in here, but I can show you all around, I have changed a couple of things. This section is about the same as it was. With two chests that will be feeding the crushers, a couple more for the mechanical saws, and of course the last one just for the trapdoor and doors. The filters for this last one are still the same, one to convert all trapdoors and doors to their original blocks, and then we convert all of that into normal wood. This one I did changed it, you can see it now says denialist for the group chipped. It's not as good as having every single block in there, because right now I can't convert some wooden items back into planks, but that pretty much covers all of the chipped blocks in a single filter, which is far better than what I was using originally. I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm glad it started lagging, so I was forced to do it better. From here I'm just going to combine this filter with the planks, and it should be set. A few of those planks shouldn't lag the entire server like the other filter was, or at least I will find that out shortly if it does. An alternative is having the wooden recipes be on a different chest, and leaving the chipped section just for chipped blocks. I have plenty of space anyway, not everything needs to be in this corner. What I know I will have to do is rule out the normal vanilla variants, like getting wood if you throw in logs. Other than that, the system is working great so, that's nice. I will place down some signs when I'm done working with this, for now I'm waiting in case I expand on something. What about the rest of the building, well, let me explain that. Originally, I was going to place here the things I'm missing from the workstation. I know what you might be thinking, Batsy, this area is absolutely tiny though. That is true, but if you compare it to the other building, this area isn't that much smaller. I can probably fit something that is three-fourths the size of this. In the end I will do none of that, and I'm going to simply use this room I have in here to build the rest of the machines. The first reason is because I thought the recycling would take a whole lot more room than this to be honest. I don't know what I was thinking, but I was clearly not thinking very well. For some reason, I thought this was going to be complicated or something. So now I have all this massive space to do something, and I thought, why not the workstation then? I have already started with a very simple haunting setup, just a couple of funnels to move the items, and the campfire to haunt the items with the fan. It won't be a fast setup like the other workstation, but I honestly never haunt stuff, so it shouldn't matter. The next section I honestly don't know what else to put in there. So far I have done a mechanical saw setup, which I'm using three of them at the same time because those things are slow otherwise. The problem I have encountered is the filter itself. The mechanical saw is here mostly to process wood. From logs into stripped wood, and those into planks. There are thousands of recipes in here, so having a mechanical saw setup sounds silly without a filter. To narrow it down to just the few woods I want, I have been using a filter with some combined rules on it. The first one is for the forge stripped logs, which also need to be added by Minecraft. Then I have another for normal logs that also need to be added by Minecraft. And the last one is for all the planks that are added by Minecraft. At first I assumed that was going to be enough, and it would prevent the problem I already had today about having too many items inside the filters. Now, here is the issue, those are stripped logs, but these are also stripped logs. At least they do share the same forge tag anyway. 
So this first filter is already a lottery, you might get any of those two variants. We also have these wood logs, which are the normal wood blocks we get from trees. Those also have a variant that uses the same tag, which I can't find apparently. Here it is, see, by name it's oak wood, but this still has the same tag as the other one. So that's another filter that is also a lottery and pretty much useless. In the end, there aren't that many kinds of wood, I'm just gonna combine two filters with all the types of wood and be done with it. As for the rest of the area, I'm honestly not too sure what else to build in here. I normally have things to make electro tubes and all of that, but that will go in the redstone factory. So maybe I will just be making precision mechanisms and various things like that, because I don't have a way to make casings either, or even a press now that I think about it. I have just added a couple of signs so I don't forget again, there should be enough room in here for it. For now, I'm really not in the mood to keep working on this workstation, and I have another project that I'm working on, so I will be leaving it here for the time being. Next week it's going to be Halloween related, and we will gonna be building stuff for the carnival, as well as checking out what everyone else built in there, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye!